So this here is a painting video on how to paint typhus. We've painted them up and this is what the end result is. So if you think this looks good and you want to paint one up yourself, it is the older model but the newer model isn't that much different. Uh, if you like this video and you think this looks good or if you want to follow along on this, please feel free to stay tuned. Uh, there's some photos at the end of the video if you want to see some different angles. And aside from that, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you can, it all helps. And we will uh, see you in a few minutes when we start painting up this model. This here is a video on how to paint Typhus, who is the first captain of the Death Guard and also is the host of the Destroyer Swarm or the destroyer of hive or destroyer of virus. You can see because of the plague funnels on the back of his armor here. Uh, he also powers up pox walkers, so he's a definite include in most Death Guard armies. And we're gonna paint him up today. Now he's first primed with Wraith Bone Spray. So that created this off-white color, and we're gonna start him uh, in a few minutes. But the first color we're gonna use with Typhus is gonna be some Death Guard green. So we're gonna put, because he's wearing Death Guard Terminator armor, we're gonna lose a lot of this green pretty much all over the place. Because we have a light undercoat, it's gonna take a few coats of this to get a good color down. Um, so we're using a very thin layer, as you can see. As you can see, we're using a very thin layer and it's not getting a whole lot of coverage even though it is a base paint and that's because the base color is very very light. So this is our typhus now that we finished with Death Guard Green and as you can see we did both arms of the armor here, the, the forearms, the hands. We did both Nurglings, the one in front and the one on his hip and then we did the both legs, we did the Terminator armor so he's got that hunched position and then he's got the big backpack with the with the high vents on the back here. We did all this uh, armor, not worrying too much about the spores, because we'll hit those later. And then all the rest of the Terminator armor with all the connector gears and everything. We just did it all green and then we'd come back and we'd clean it up when we do all the trim. So we'll wait for him to dry and then we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So the next thing we're gonna do in Typhus now is start on the trim. We're gonna do that with some Balthazar gold. And all we're gonna do just take a really, really watered down layer and start going over all of the trim here. And as he's got Terminator armor, of course, you trim all this. You trim this back wall here as well. Then you trim all around the front piece, all around the edges of the armor, and then uh, all around the back here. So we'll do all of that now. We'll meet back here in just a few minutes. This is Typhus now that we finished with the Balthazar Gold. And as you can see, we did the trim around the collar, the trim up on the back, the shoulder pad trims, and all the trims along the back legs. Uh, we could have did the beetle on the shoulder pad. A lot of people do do that one. But I think we're going to do those in a bone color. Um, and then we're going to do the skulls on this side in a bone color as well. So we'll do kind of both of those in bone and uh, probably that's the color we're gonna do next. So we'll be right back in a moment. So what we're gonna do now is start with a base of Rakarth flesh. And what we're gonna do with that is the straps on the uh, power scythe as well as the helmet because he does have a lighter colored helmet. Um, we're probably gonna do the satchel here. And we may probably do all of the spore launchers on the top. So we'll do all those with Rakrath Flesh now. Just using a pretty watered down layer. Just like so. So now that we've done with our Rakrath Flesh, we're gonna move on from there and just do the other two bone bits with some Zandri dust. And these are the uh, moth on the side here, the fly, the bloat fly and this horn that the uh, Nurgling is holding onto. So we'll just brush those right quick with some Zandri dust and be right back. So that's what it looked like now that we've done with the Zandri dust there. So it's still wet, but we just did up just that horn and then just that bloat fly 
emblem here. So we'll let those dry. We'll meet back here in another few minutes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of dryad bark, which is wood, and we're going to do the shaft of the power scythe. Just like so. Just filling it in like that. So we'll finish this off with its base color. We'll be back here in a few minutes once all that's done. So with Typhus now, the next color we're going to do now that we finished the staff is Lead Belcher. And what we're going to do with that is do all of the uh, blade as well as all of the uh, chain mail that's hanging from the bottom, all of the respirator uh, cabling, chain mail on the back again, all of these other tubes and cables and lines and cords. Um, so we'll do all that with our metallics and our lead belcher and we'll meet back here in just a few minutes. Got to create our rust effects now that the iron is, um, lead belcher is finished. What we're going to do is stifle on some troll St slayer orange. We'll just wipe it off first. Then we're just going to sort of splatter that on there. Just like so. Just putting it in pot spots. Just like that. So keeps the next effect we're going to add to our rust is we're going to take a little bit of Rhinox hide and do the exact same thing, stifling that on. Something like that. So we'll let that dry and then we'll add our shade. So this is Typhus now that we've finished with some of the rust effect. And what we're going to do now is start our shades on our model. So the first thing we're going to do is take Agrax Earth Shade. And we're going to do the blade, the shaft. We're going to do all of the green Death Guard armor as well as all of the metallics um, chainmail. And then we're going to do anything that was Xandri dust. So we're looking at this um, uh, bloat fly pattern as well as this proboscis horn. And then we're going to do all of the Death Guard green armor as well. Uh, not doing this Nurgling or that Nurgling there. We'll leave those for later. And not doing the face at all because we'll come back and do that after as well. We want that to end up white as opposed to dirty, dirty dark. So, we'll do that now with our Agrax Earthshade. We'll meet back here in just a moment once the model has been shaded. Now that we're finished with our Agrax Earthshade, we're going to add two more shades. We're going to take some Athonian Camo Shade, which is green, and we're going to do the two Nurglings here and here. So, we'll do that now. Just like so. And then we're going to take a little bit of Seraphim Sepia, which is a bit more yellow, sort of a yellowish red, or a lighter brown, reddish brown. And we're going to do the face plate. Just like so. So this is our Typhus model now that we're finished with our shades. And what we're going to do is we're going to start cleaning up some of the model again now. So we're going to take a little bit of our Nurgling Green that we used previous. And we're going to just dry brush some on over the armor again. But this time we have to be careful not to wander over the brass. Or pretty much any of the other colors we're using. Because... The whole model is painted now. So all we want to do is sort of clean up some of the
of the high points there where the model got a little dirty. Now that we've cleaned up the armor, we're going to clean up the bone color. So that's the uh, hive spouts on the top as well as the uh, bloat fly on the side and then the two horns, of course. So what we're going to do with that is use a little U shabti bone and we're going to dry brush that on. A very bright color which we don't want. We'll put that right on the bone here, on the horn. Just to dry brush that on. And then the same thing on the high vents on the top here. Now with our typhus the way he's going, what we're going to do is take a little bit of pallid witch flesh and we're going to dry brush some of that or edge highlight, whatever you prefer to use, over these straps. On the um, shaft of the man reaper. Just like so, just to lighten up some of those. And then we're going to do the same thing for the head helmet. Just barely lightly go over the helmet, lightening up that. Just like so, because Typhus's helmet is lighter colored white, and we want that to stand out against the rest of the green background here. So the next thing we're going to do in Typhus are all of these spore pods, of which there's one on this leg, one on each cheek, and three on the back. And we're going to do all of those with some Ungar flesh, and we're going to do with a sort of an edge highlight layer because we don't want to lose the shade that we've taken the time to put in already. So this is going to be a very light layer over the top. Just like so. Just like that. Because we don't want to fill in the shade spots. But we do want the whole bulb to stand out as infectious from the rest of the model. And finally we're going to do these uh, wounds here that are coming out of the stomach area with Ungar flesh as well just to lighten up this as well. So we'll finish these up and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. So our typhus is almost finished. What we're gonna do now is go over that Ungar flesh with a little bit of Reekland flesh shade, just to make that a bit more uh, woundish. And we're just gonna put a little bit on those spores and more in those wounds. Finally, we're going to take a little bit of brass scorpion and just go over some of that trim inconsistently just to add a little bit of highlights to it and help clean up some of it here.
just like so. Finally, we're going to take a little bit of Mephiston Red with a very, 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 very pointed brush. I'm going to put a drop inside of each island here. Just like so. Just to give him his eyes. So Typhus is pretty much finished with the exception of a cloth he's got in the back of his um, torso here. So we're going to go purple with it. So we're going to put a little bit of Xerius purple. And then we'll probably just dry brush it with Demonette Hide to uh, lighten it up a bit. So we'll do those now and see how it turns out. So this is the final uh, model. As you can see, we've finished it up, we've done the base, we've done the clear coat, and uh, the only other thing we did was we added some Nurgle's Rot to the top, um, the hive uh, vents at the top. Just like so. So, if you, um, if you like this video and you think it turned out good, Please feel free to leave a like in the channel, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, that's even better. And otherwise than that, we will um, see you at the next painting video. There'll be some photos of the model following this, uh, just at the end of the video if you want to see some different angles. Uh, aside from that, thank you for watching and you guys have a pleasant day.